Hello, King's Only. In 10. Thank you. Bye. 10. King's College Hospital, London. A major trauma centre. Have you got a blood pressure yet? She was on the floor and I thought she's dead. And one of the busiest A&E departments in the world. Stabbing, code red. King's is everything. Everything pounds in through that door. The fire has been trapped between him and the bridge. A place where love... Can I wait here until she comes home? Can I come home with her? Life. Oh, apart from having a brain injury, never better. What happened? I got bitten. By who? By me mate. <laughs> and loss unfold every single day. I've not got a happy feeling of you. No. Not breathing. Stop. All the patients you're about to see were treated in one department in just one 24-hour period. You're going to be all right. You know what happens when things are bad? Daddy's here. Please don't cry. The moment that you're in recess and you're really sick and all you can think about is, am I going to live, am I going to die? Silly things go out the window. And ultimately, what's important is realised that you're loved and that you're not alone. of normal saline in that side stack, girls. Can I have an arterial blood gas and can we have IV access and bloods taken in the other? I'll have a chest x-ray, a BM and a urine. Will you do me an ECG just in case it's tricyclic? The minute I walked into the emergency department and knew that I never wanted to escape its walls, that that was where I was destined. Liz has worked at King's for 10 years and will be running resus today. Pulse rate's about 60 and it's regular. Sir, can you take a deep breath in for me, please? And out. That's lovely. That's fine. Just Sorry, sit forward for me, sweetheart. Chest appears absolutely clear. Did someone comment on a bruise or something somewhere? Liz is really, really good. She is very she's particular, but she just likes to make sure that all the, the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. Can you go and find the porters? round the corner and say, Liz wants the oxygen changed in cubicle six, please. As quick as you can, out through those doors, turn left and then round. Can I have the BM machine? Is that there as well? I'm not here to be popular. I do know that members of staff will bring me their children or their relatives. And for that, I'm truly grateful because I know I'm a bucket load to handle in recess. I know that the jobs come out of my mouth quicker than people have time to do them. Can I have a chair for Mum, uh, for uh, his wife? That's fine, Mum. I say Mum. It's me doing children all day. I work one day a week um, at the moment because I have four children at home, a uh, five-year-old, a seven-year-old, an eight-year-old and a nine-year-old. And my difficult job, my full-time job, is being a mother of, you know, such young children. I find recess with all its bays full still easier than basically the 4 o'clock till 6.30 session at home when you're trying to get through the school run tea and homework. Well done, thank you. How long have you two been married? 45 years, well done. I will try my very hardest to get him put back together OK for you. Kings. Yep. Yep. Eight minutes. That's great. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye for now. Pediatric red phone ETA. Eight minutes. That's pediatric red phone ETA. Eight minutes. Uh, who's dialing two seven eight? Will you do that now? Yeah. Let's get that through to them. Thank you.
Nine-year-old Tino was found slumped and confused at her desk at school. She's been brought in by her teaching assistant, Lynn. If we get the patient transferred over and I'll take handover after that. Hello, sweetheart. Right. Thank you. Nice and loud, please. Tino um, fell asleep in class, which is very unusual for her. And when the teacher woke her, she can't remember people's names. She can't follow some simple instructions. She, she's just very, very confused. Is she complaining of a headache at all? She said she's got pain all over her head. She can't pinpoint it. No apparent injury. Pupils are, are, are reacting, but when I've tried to get to follow the pen torch, the pen torch goes that way and she looks the opposite way. She says she's got a bit of tummy pain, did feel a bit nauseous, but she's soft on palpation and just saying ouch every time I touch her. This is very, very out of character. Teachers are very concerned. Mum's on her way. Hello, Tino. Tino, I'm Dr. Hobson, one of the accident and emergency consultants. Sweetheart, I'm going to examine you now. OK. Can we just shut the curtains, guys? If someone wants to come in, they can. Tino, what's your surname? Do you know your surname, darling? No, do you know where you are? Do you know where you think you might be? At home? You think you're at home? OK, darling, have you got pain? You've got pain in your tummy and in your head. OK, sweetheart. Do you know what day it is today? Wednesday. You think it's Wednesday? OK. We're disorientated in time, place and person. Can I have a BM, if that's possible, team, as we're quickly in? Uh, the paediatric team, can we set about getting IV access? When you get people who are disorientated, they're truly losing their grip on reality. And it means you have to act very quickly to find out what organ system's going wrong and how best you can support it to try and improve it. Doesn't appear to be any neck stiffness, because she's up and down voluntarily herself, isn't she? Children are amazing. You can lose them very, very quickly. They hold it together quite well, and suddenly they can just boom, gone and you need to be able to spot the warning signs. Right, I want next I want the use knees chase because of the CRP, et cetera, et cetera. I was trying to cover all the potential options for her. They're all life-threatening. Dan, I don't like this. something to it, making me sit up here again. Whilst I'm going to kick you in it and that will do something to it. See, this is it. You're going to moan if there's nothing wrong with my ankle. Yeah, I didn't want to come round here, so you're not going to moan. Excuse me, I was fucking asked yeah. to fetch you up here. Soft, considering there's other things going on. A line, please, as soon as we can. Nine year old Tino is disorientated and complaining of pains in her head and stomach. She's been given glucose and antibiotics, but the cause remains unknown. I wonder if we need to actually include the abdomen with that as well. If there's a sort of a hidden perforated appendix or something like that. She's not pyrexial, her potassium's up, and just getting an ECG. Um, oh, excellent. Do come in through, madam. I'm Dr. Her mum, Tracy, has arrived at the hospital. 
and um, that's lovely to step back from a moment. Right, I want a proper history from Mum now. Right, so any long-term medical problems with her at all? She ever had any operations in the past before? When did she last eat and drink? Uh, it would have been this morning when she's coming to Does school. anyone she oversee her things. having breakfast or not? Yeah, Does my she... sister is there with, with her at home. You last saw her, mother last saw I her last saw night? I saw her this morning. Well, I slept with her. I slept with her. Oh, you slept with her? Yeah. OK, fine. So she didn't appear hot or in any way sleeping deeply or anything like that? BM 3.6. No. BM 3.6. OK. You can give another 50 mils then. Tino, who do you think I am? What do you think I might be? Um, Look at me, sweetheart. What could I perhaps be? The hospital use only. The hospital, yes, you are in a hospital. Do you know the job I could do? Use only. Tino had an almost disengaged appearance. But, but I, th I feel she was quite an intelligent child. I felt when I was asking her questions, I could almost see her looking around the environment, trying to pick up visual clues. What about this lady? What do I do? Diana, what does she do? Um, King's College. What day is it today, darling? Danger. So her lack of fear made me more concerned that she was more unwell because the average nine-year-old is not very comfortable in an emergency room. Tino was sort of floating on the top of, uh, of consciousness, having superficial conversations that might initially appear OK, but when you dug a bit deeper, you could see she wasn't OK at all. Can you see things, Tino? I can see um, a map of the world and the globe and a box and a card saying happy birthday. She ever had any episodes of confusion at all before? Never. Never. And she's normally a bright, intelligent little girl. Clever. Articulate. In school, yeah, she's quite surprisingly more intelligent than Yeah. I could not just believe it. She was just lying there, staring like... She was seeing some ghost or something, and it really broke my heart. Have you eaten and drunk? Yeah. You've got to eat and drink, sweetheart, because it's going to be a long haul today. Technically, we've got to think about things like encephalitis. Oh. Uh, CT are ready. Liz suspects Tino has encephalitis, a meningitis-like virus which attacks the brain. We're happy. Yes, thank you, sir. Have that one. Oh, yeah. Shh, come on. Harrison, no. Come on. Yeah, 
Yeah, you was probably annoying at that age, huh? Oh, at least it put you off having them too young then, wouldn't it? Yeah. Put glove on it. Get yourself a good job out first. Yeah. Mum of six, Karen, is in majors with her daughter, Samantha, son, Alfie, and grandson, Harrison. She's experiencing numbness down her left side. Right, you're probably going to need a scan. Of what, my leg? Your head. Because it's numbness, I oh suppose God. that's why they're going to have to do the head. The... Yeah, we just make sure, just to be safe. Yeah. It's probably nothing, but... She's brilliant, brilliant mum. You know, I wouldn't have asked for a better mum. And she's brought us up basically on our own, you know? Um, not having a man figure in our life as a father figure. We didn't have a father figure to help her out um, in, in our upbringing. So she's done an amazing job. She has really done an amazing job, considering she's done it on her own. What an MRI? A CT will be enough. CT, yeah, because I can't get in them yeah. machines. Oh, they're horrible, aren't they? Oh, I'll have so, my next oh, scan once. I can't. Wait. CT scan's all right. I've had one yeah, of them. Yeah, CT's like polo mint. It's like a donut, yeah. Yeah, but it don't come right near your head or anything, does it? Nah, it just fine. sits there. It takes a few minutes. Head. Yeah, seriously, it's all right. But you'll need one of them, probably. I do feel that it's my responsibility to take care of my mum, yeah. And I think that she enjoys the fact of taking advantage of me taking care of her. But, yeah, yeah, I do. I enjoy it as well. Them MRIs are a bit too cramped in, though, for my liking, yeah. mate. Oh, yeah, God, I, I don't know. I just couldn't. Yeah, it makes a loud noise, doesn't it, which makes you... I didn't even get halfway in. I'm going to get me out, get me out! <laughs> I said I felt like I was in a coffin. I said, go on, Mum, you'll be all right. And the man's pushing me in more and more. <laughs> You're like that, in you go. Yeah, exactly. I was like, just go in. <laughs> How long are you in it for? Not even te not even five minutes, I don't think. Yeah, it only takes seven minutes, oh, I think, for a seven, full well, scan. It didn't feel like that for not, me. Don't take long. Uh, gloves. But neurology-wise, these is the best it's hospital not, ever. Yeah, these are the best. Uh, the dental and neuro neurological best uh, hospital ever. It's all brain experts, they are. Well done, sweetheart. Will you phone up the labs for me and tell me I'm very keen to get the blood results quickly? Is that all right? And tell them the story, cos they will come with the answer quicker. Yeah? been nursing for 20 years. I work late and I always tell it, you know, you have to go to bed before I get home. But she, she won't go before she sees me. And same thing in the morning. When my alarm goes, she wakes up to come and say goodbye, mum, and then she goes back to sleep. Me and Tino, you know, we have quite a very strong bond. A very strong bond. is um, a very vibrant, articulate, smart girl. Very energetic. She's in ballet, she does swimming. So full of energy, you can't stop her. I love Tino so much and um, I was so scared that I was gonna lose her. My name's Samantha, I'm one of the doctors. How are you feeling? She's Samantha, that's my daughter. Oh, hi. <laughs> Excellent name. <laughs> right, so why are you here? Oh, um, I was coming back from taking them to the shop yesterday evening, mm -hmm. and I could feel going, working from the bottom of my left foot yeah. up to my leg, and it was numb. 
Okay. The same with the arm. Like, my arm went weak, but not as bad. I got home, I thought I'll just ignore it. It might just be something silly. Yeah. I've gone to bed, I've got up today, and it's still the same. How many times has this happened before? I've had it on regular occasions, on and off, on and off. She's a very um, anxious with anything, worrier. Um, like, when I was 18, I just didn't want me to go on Brighton Pier in case it collapsed, you know? Like, then, even now, at 27, she, when I go out clubbing, she's texting me, are you home yet? And she's always been the same. Just relax for me. Sorry, it's not very easy to relax, is it? Especially no. when you're in hospital. You have a doctor telling you, just relax. <laughs> it's easier said than done, eh? Just relax whilst I'm sitting in majors. <laughs> All right, so close your eyes for me. It's kind of, I've got used to it now. It is, it's horrible because, you know, if my mum feels ill, I try and talk her out of it. No, you're right, you know, it will pass. It's panic, mum, you know, stop worrying. But I will sit up in hospital for seven hours if I have to in support of my mum. Hands up like a boxer. Don't let me pull him out. I visit the doctors on a regular basis. Yeah. Maybe every couple of days. Here we go, just relax your legs. I feel limited. I feel like I can't go somewhere where I'd like to go, have a good time, just in case I come over feeling ill again. I have to be near where there's a doctor's or a hospital. Right now, what we need to know is we need to find out what's going on with the left side of your body. And I'll have a chat with the neuro team, see if we can get someone to come down and see you. Yeah, all right then. All right. Yes. Do you want the curtains open or closed? Leave them open. <laughs> Sorry to trouble you, it's Dr Hobbs Fanny, one of the accident and emergency consultants. I'm keen if it's possible to have a CRP result back on a little girl, a nine-year-old. And this is because I, I don't know what's going on with her. Anything, basically, you can give me, I'd be grateful for. She's confused, she's nine. We don't know what's happened to her. Tino's scans are inconclusive. And um, Pete, can you just, Elia, can you just have a look at the x-ray? Because that's an erect chest that's up there and I just want to check there's no air underneath the diaphragm. Liz is treating Tino with antivirals. Her priority is to reduce the risk of permanent damage to her brain. Pam, nothing there. It looks OK. Can you have a look down her ears, her nose and her throat, please, next? My biggest crime, if I could commit one, is assuming that I've got the diagnosis or I know the diagnosis and, in fact, that turns out to be wrong. But in the emergency room, I'm trying to make sure that I've excluded any of the big killers. Encephalitis. I have to say I'm stumped because... Confused. No... Completely confused. What's completely confused? I don't know is the answer. When you have a child in who is poorly, Parents assume that you are trying your best. What you've got to deliver is the results, um, and time matters for that. I don't like this ca cappuccino. See the profit on uh, Monday. Yeah. Get along. <laughs> this is all numb. All of it. it feels like, do you know, like when you go dentist and inject it? That's what it feels like. 
It's all numb, that numb. You know what? It wouldn't be so bad if it was here and here, but it's the eye what I'm concerned about, in case it damages your eyesight as well. I could see perfect, though. Yeah, now you might be able to, but what happens in a couple of days' time? The minute I looked at it, I know straight away, hospital. Otherwise, you wouldn't have bothered. I want to know what's going on. I am your mum. Girls, is her temperature up or down or anything? Pun? So it's slowly climbing. Um, I put down query encephalitis and um, I don't know whether she needs a vasculitic screen. I guess she needs an LP under GA. And I'm just, you know, when you sit there and think, what is it with this child? I don't know what the diagnosis is. What do you remember? Having your cereal. And that's it. You don't remember anything after that. Good girl. But you remember me? Do you know me? Oh, do, you know? do you know? Look at me. Do you know me? Do you know me? We just want you to know yourself and your date of birth, yeah? Let's try and remember that. Hmm? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe when you have a sleep, you feel better. Yeah, my baby. Oh, I love you very much. I'd like to think I hold it together as well as some of the best parents that I've seen in recess. I would be ashamed to say that I don't think I could match up to some of the stamina and fortitude that I have seen displayed by various relatives, where they get the inner strength to deal with what they have to deal with. I don't know. <sighs> they haven't got a diagnosis, that's the problem. She was saying she's got tummy ache. She can't even remember her name or her date of birth. Where's the other lady? This one. We loved him. The one that was wearing the, um, the blue short top. No, no, the nurse. No. Was given it a go. The no. Okay, nurse. Not one of the nurses. Doctor? No. With the scarf on? No. Mummy. The one that was standing there with the red, with the blue top on. No. The blue top on. No. No, no, no. It's her mother. Oh, so okay. Really nice. She has gone to the look for food. Yeah. Yeah. Where? Mummy. It's your mother, my yeah. dear. You know, I expected her to smile and hug me and cry and tell me, you know, what was going on. But she didn't. She just stared at me like a stranger. She just looked at me. I said, Tino, it's mom. And she, you know, she just kept on looking at me. And at that moment, I just, I just couldn't take it. Because I tried, I said, Tino, it's mom, I'm here. Tell me what's wrong, what's the matter? And she just looked straight into my eyes like, who is this woman? What are you talking about? And that just broke me down. They're not for a card in here, you know. They're always on the go, aren't they? Yeah. Hi, is there allergy? Hi, this is Sam, one of the EDSHS. I have a lady down here. She has a left-sided sensory loss. 
It's, um, well, it's marginally acute, as in, basically, it comes and goes. It's been intermittent now for a few years. Losing my granddad, I think, was a massive, massive turnaround for my mum in her life. My mum being the youngest of 13, she was literally the baby who'd be with her mum and dad every single day. He was more or less like her rock, so losing him kind of made her, her life literally just head, head south. The GP are getting on my nerves now. They keep, because she has anxiety and depression, they're just putting it all they're down, to, it that. down to that. all the time. Yeah, they, and they'll send her home. Oh, don't worry about it, you know, it's your anxiety. And uh, now, I've come with her today because it's getting on my nerves, so I'll be there to support her next time they tell her it's anxiety. I know, I'm 26 and I've been with my mum all her life. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So for her, and, I'm not and when she rang me... I know the difference between the feelings. Ringing. Um, Why did she decide it? Yeah, I, it must it's be mind. difficult. And uh, I'm not excusing what anybody said, and yeah. I, I don't think anyone's labelling everything as anxiety and depression. But you can imagine we see a lot of patients that become even more anxious about the smallest things yeah, when they do yeah. suffer from... Yeah, yeah. 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 But if yeah. this has happened so many times before and now it's not going away, it's then we do going. need to yeah, investigate exactly. this properly. Yeah. Have you had a CT before? No, I'll, I'll tolerate a CT. But Have I'll... you had a CT? No, never. Right, CT more. scan we're going to do today, and that's not going to show as much detail. That will show us if you've got an acute bleed. Life's not the same without him. Never. What was special about him, Karen? Everything. Everything. There for me. And if I needed to speak about when I didn't feel well, he'd be there, tell me what to do. Well, I wish I was saying, she said, go have a scan. What? Scan in my head. Yeah, but then that will give you a peace of mind, though. And what if they find something? They won't. Well, if they find something, they find something. What can you do about it? It's hard. It's very hard without you. I wish he was here. Sounds selfish because he suffered, he was so ill. So you don't get nothing on your head or anything when you're going for a TT scan? No. It doesn't touch your head. It just sits around your head. You don't feel like you can't breathe? No. It's not a tunnel or nothing. I just can't. I'll never get over him. Never. And I've got my kids and my grandkids, but I'll never get over losing him. It's going boom, 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 boom. I think I'm panicking because I'm working myself up. Because I'm thinking, oh my God, something's wrong, something's wrong, something's wrong. Calm down. So, yeah, so it's good news. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. I can't see anything obviously. So we head back. Way. Thanks very much. Thanks Take very care. Much. Have a nice Cheers. evening. Bye. GPs have said to me, you do get physical symptoms, but it's not a physical cause. It's psychological, it's mental health problems. But to me, it's physical and it's a medical problem, I believe. They've told me I have got an illness and it is severe health anxiety. That is what's wrong with me, but I don't accept it. CT was clear, oh, yeah. and he said um, he's going to write to the GP the and soldiers. get me in the MRI open scanner. We've been up here since half nine watched, this morning. I watched this thing. Haven't you had a lovely yeah, day? Yeah, but to be honest, yes. no, it's been I think right. you've gone a bit it's further, and right. you've seen a neurologist yeah. now, which is yes, the important thing. I said thing. that. Oh, it gives, okay. it gives her Thank you. At least you got away I've been investigated. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Thank you but, so yeah. much. Yeah, you've been a big help. See Thank ya. you very much. Thanks. Take care. Oh, 
such a bloody mummy's boy. Oh, yeah. You are. Oh, wow. When you're not well, you want me. Three people in front of me. Three, yeah. I think there was three people in front of you when we came in. They've got to fix it. Ouch. That's tight. Yeah. We need to keep him still until we've done the x-rays. Um, so he's, 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 really he's cold, yeah. Yeah, he looks cold. Yeah. 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 We'll get him warm. Yeah. Eleven-year-old Bailey is in with his mum, Leslie, and sister, Kay. I can't believe this happened. It's not a moon either. He's been hit by a slow-moving car on his way home from school. Should have seen how quick I, I jumped out of the bathroom and got dressed. I was dripping. Oh, bless. I flung myself down the stairs. Silly <laughs> girl. I think you've broken your leg. Yeah, yeah. so do I. Yeah. Um, I can, well, I almost certainly have. The x-rays yeah. will obviously confirm that, but by the looks of it, for sure. <laughs> Is it actually a Thursday? That's what I mean. Any other day I would have been with him. Yeah. Now I feel awful because I weren't there. Um, so as soon as I'm Did I make that happen? Did I make that beep happen? No, that's me. Uh, Let's um, get the x-rays done. How much are you on? Yeah, no worries. I'm just going to cover you up again. Thank you. Thank you, decent. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very nice hospital. Oh, all right. It's very nice stuff. Oh, thanks. Hope you're including me in that. All right. I, uh... When I was in the hospital bed, the person I wanted to see the most was my mum. Uh, so... He's bored. So bored. <laughs> She's very nice all the time, and she hardly ever shouts. I spy on my little eye, something's starting to see. Curtain. Ceiling. Ceiling. Oh, come on. <laughs> Should have guessed that, really, because he's all he can see, yes, isn't it? <laughs> my little injured ninja, ginger ninja. Don't you dare say that. <laughs> It's all going off in here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Hi, Benny. My name's Natalie. I'm a radiologist. I'm going to take quite a few x-rays for you, if that's all right. Oh, you're doing the x-rays here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no problem. Is that all right? Do you not want to be... Well, yeah. they're only doing x-rays, and I'll come back in in a minute. Yeah. I need to have a cigarette. Oh, yes, love. I love you, I love you oh. too, darling. Don't, because you'll make me cry. You're all right. What about me? Okay, no, I, love not a word. I love you too. Why live it? You'll be all right. Don't worry. It's only your leg. I know it's scary. Do you, want me, do you want me to stay here with you, or do you want me to yeah, go for a fat? You want me to stay? Hey, you can go smoke it if you like. You're all right. Do you want me to go or stay? I don't know. Oh, you know, you, you do what. Is that no? It's up to you. No, you do what you want. I hate when people say that. It's up to you. Then you have to step out. Um, when I take the X-rays, so the lady get irradiated. So I need to go anyway, so I'll be outside. All right, so I'll be back in a minute. You all right, Mum? Yeah, yeah, I don't want you to worry, but Bailey's had an accident. He got knocked over. I don't really know, Mum. He just said he was crossing a road and a car pulled out and, and he didn't see the car, so he's probably just run across the road. But I said, what's the chance of me to bring him home? And they said, no. But I have to go and get him some pyjamas and stuff. <laughs> he just made me cry because he said he loved me. <laughs> so, love you too. Bye. Oh, warming 
this hospital, isn't it? It is. Tell Alia on 424 she is to refer this patient to a paediatric neurologist because she needs an EEG and she needs further investigation and we mustn't stop until we've got an answer. Once I get out of here, I know what I'm doing first. What's that? Having a nice hot bath. You won't be able to. Oh, why? You have to stick your cask out. Oh, crap. How are you going to get in? Uh, it's not like you to want a bath. No, I've got his, um, stuff I've got him up there to bring him home. I bought a tracksuit. It's Bailey, isn't it? Yep, Bailey. Right. So you've got quite a nasty fracture yep. of the bone, of your thigh bone, and that requires an operation. I'll do it. But what we need to do firstly is we can get this splint off, but what we need to do is put a different type of traction on it okay. to pull the fracture out. Ouch. OK. It might be a bit sore when we're doing it, but I'll be as quick and gentle as I can. Right, so you pop one of those on. If it's too painful, then let me know and we can stop. It'll only hurt for a bit and then the pain will go away. Well, not to swear. No, don't swear. You're all right. You're not even 12 yet. Not even 12. You can't, can't swear in front of your mum. Do you feel the knees? Safe fizzle sticks. Crikey, O'Reilly. All right, all right. You're all right. All right, go on. Good boy, well done. All right, well done, well done. OK, good. Well done, you're doing really well. All right. Monkey on the stick. <laughs> <laughs> right. Monkey on the stick. Yeah, keep going like that, monkey on the stick's good. Fudge cake. That's it, yep. That's better. Oh, peanut butter. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I know, Bailey. Just try and try your best That's to relax. Right. All right, all right. Try your Sorry, best to relax right. for me. It's all right. Don't tense up. I think this is kind of being sexist, I think, in a way. But, like, men aren't supposed to crack, I think. And women are. I'm not sure about that. I think that's what it is. Try and do what they do when when um, you, when you're in labour. Not that you're in labour, but <laughs> what is it? You're breathing through your through your nose, isn't it? And out through your mouth. No, I didn't. Do yeah, it. breathing through your. Oh, mind you, I don't know whether you can. Try and breathe in through your nose, and then out through your mouth. That's it. Yeah, blow the pain away. That's, that's it. it. You have grown men crying just doing this, babe. Yeah, I've had grown men crying. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I can imagine. I certainly would be. Yeah, you're a trooper. Yeah. Absolute trooper. In through oh. your nose. They've nearly finished. Yeah, the last little there. bit now. We're in through your nose and out through your mouth. That's it. Perfect. Good. Well done. You did so well. Good. Fine. And then we'll get you upstairs to one of the wards. Okay. Where the beds are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something a bit more comfortable than the trolley. I hate my life. <laughs> I just want to be happy. I need to go and get some help, to go and speak to somebody and tell somebody where my day's been or if I've got problems on my shoulders that I can't share with anyone else, that I need to speak to somebody about. 
that's what I need. I have learnt that you should never cross the road where there is not a crossing and look both ways. Twice. Some things came back quickly and some things came back slow. My friends and my family's name were the, fir were the first things that came back to my mind. When you do my job, you go home at night and you cuddle your children and you hug your husband and you're grateful that they are fit, alive, are well and there. You learn what the real priorities are and the fact that it's, it can be gone so quickly that actually I find that coming to work makes me a better mum. An assault could be a tiny graze or nothing wrong or an assault could be someone that's been beaten up, kicked, stamped upon and stabbed. Do you have any funny feelings in your arms or your legs at the moment? Just feel really weak. Whereabouts? Just all over? My arms, my legs. When they said they were going to take Sam to King's, he wanted to go somewhere else. He just didn't want to remember what happened there. Thank you.